John here from Churches Alive Online. Now this tutorial is just to talk you through the basics of handling and editing existing documents on your website. So for example if you were wanting to have a look at this example page and you want to edit that page this is what it looks like on the front of your website okay there you go and I want to improve that on the back end so but I know it's called example page that's the title of the document just like this one here's obviously got its own title who we are as well so in the back end I've logged in and if I just click on articles I should be able to see it it just happens in this case it's showing at the top because it was created recently but if there were lots of documents I recommend you just type the first few letters in the search filter and then it will just bring up the page that you're looking for you only need to type a few letters in there for it to find it okay so if I click on example page now at the moment this is categorized in a category here on the right hand side you can see that it's an uncategorized document now that's important because back on the front end of your website there are some documents that are within the magazine that are published in that magazine category just look back at the next tutorial for a little bit more on categories so basically as you can see you've got a simple page here and now the uh, editing tools are fairly familiar bold italic and underline which you probably won't need so often but there you, that's where it's located undo and redo just here and here we go with justifying text fully center left and right okay and an important one on the internet again is the style here the paragraph style if you are wanting to change the text at all then you need to change the titles using that paragraphing menu because Google actually uses where the text is heading 1 or heading 2 or heading 3 to assign its level of importance okay so I've just assigned that a heading now down underneath my photo here I've got some text and now I actually want to paste in something from a word processor so I'm going to go into Microsoft Word here and I'm going to select some text because I want to paste that in I've just controlled and copied that to the clipboard I press Control C you can do it any way you like edit menu is fine too okay and going back to my browser I want to paste that text in because like you have probably spent a lot of time preparing that in a word processor it's quite useful because you won't time out on you you can have problems in the web editor sometimes when it logs you out and you have to re-enter your password and you've spent a long time composing the document online that can be quite frustrating so it can be useful to compose it first in a word processor so to paste it I want to paste it as plain text because the formatting from Word isn't very helpful on the internet so this is quite important to do so if I click on this little clipboard here and go on to paste as plain text it brings me up a box here and as it already says use control and V to paste the text in here it is so now I've got my text and again I'm just going to use my paragraph menu this time I'm going to give it heading 2 as a style okay I'll just reselect that there we are so now I've got my heading text where I want it you'll notice I've got a picture there if I want to change the picture I click on it and the image changing tool is just here now we'll look at that further in tutorial 2 uh, the one thing I'm going to show you here is uh, this here this is the read more button 
Now, that is useful especially in a blog or magazine layout where it only shows you the first portion of the text and then you will click read more to see a little bit more of the document. Now, if you don't want that, you can delete it. If you need to put it back again, the button that you are looking for is located on the menu. Now, if you have a look, if you hover, you'll find where they are located, but it's actually just here. Okay, so if I click on that one, I've obviously already chosen where I want it to be in the text. I've got my cursor flashing, click on read more, it inserts it. So that is used on the front page. For example, on this website, it's on news, and here's a news item here. And if I want to read a little bit more of my news item, then I just click on the read more button and it goes through to that document. Okay, so back on the back end, that's what the read more function is for. If I want to hyperlink some text, which is another important thing to know how to do, I just highlight it and then the chain little button that I'm looking for is located just here. Okay, so if I click on that, it brings up the hyperlinking button. So if I want to now type in my URL, and usually I need to change target to open in a new window. Okay, that's just a simple hyperlinking um, to a different website, and it just takes it in a new window so that you don't take people away from your site, that your site remains open. Then I click on insert, and it will always ask you, do you want to um, use an external link? And if it does, it says you have to add HTTP, which you definitely do want to do. So you click on yes, and that will check it's working for you. So if we save and close that, okay, but we can go back to the main site and have a see what we've done. Click on example page on this instance. There we are. Intro text, picture, main text, and there's our hyperlink. And if I click on it, it opens in a new window. Okay, so there's more on hyperlinking, more on adding images, and also creating new documents in further tutorials. Take a look back at the YouTube channel. If this was helpful, please like, share, subscribe to our channel, and tell other people about it. Thank you.